Hello all viewers and welcome back to our channel. Now of late we have been seeing Donald Trump picking people for positions and now there's some breaking news over someone he had picked as attorney general. Now, Trump had initially chosen Matt Gaze for the role, but Gaze has since withdrawn his name from consideration amid S misconduct allegations and backlash from both the opposition and his own Republican Party senators. And guys, even though Matt Gaze dropped, Trump still replaced him with another palm color person and didn't even consider replacing him with a black person. Now, according to him, he cited his desire to distract from Donald Trump's critical work as the reason for his withdrawal. But many are pointing out the hypocrisy of Trump's administration given the numerous allegations of S misconduct against the former president himself. It's also worth noting that several of Trump's speaks have faced similar allegations, raising concerns about the administration's commitment to accountability and transparency. Now, as one observer noted, Trump is unlikely to have trouble finding someone who matches gay's energy, given the former president own history of controversy. So come with me as we hear different people share their thoughts on Matt Gay's decision. I will be right back. <laughs> so this video is a twofer, or it might be a threefer, depending. But um, hey, blacks for Trump. All y'all sitting around waiting on cabinet positions. I have some good news for you. <laughs> Matt Gates, Donald Trump's nominee for attorney general, has withdrawn his nomination. And I'm not exactly sure it has anything to do with the fact that going in, um, the president-elect nominated somebody who was under investigation for, for this kind of misconduct before he even picked a black person for his cabinet. But I digress. And Matt Gates took to his, yeah, this account and announced that there is no time to waste on a needless, protractive Washington scuffle. Thus, I will be withdrawing my name from consideration to serve as Attorney General. <laughs> and he also goes into saying that he is committed to making sure that the president-elect is the greatest president in history. And of course, the president-elect took to his account on his social media company <laughs> and responded by saying, I greatly appreciate the recent efforts of Matt Gates in seeking approval to be the attorney general. He was doing very well, <laughs> yada, yada, yada. He was doing very well, right. Huh, is this what very well looks like? <laughs> And with the revelations today of a police report revealing new details in the SA allegations against another president-elect nominee for his cabinet, Pete Hesbitt, the former Fox News host, yeah, the Secretary of Defense position might become open also. So there you have it, Rocky Raccoons. Keep shucking, keep jiving. The Attorney General nomination is open and the possibility of the Secretary of Defense is open. But have no fear. No matter how much <laughs> stepping and fetching you all do, yeah, you all still won't be nominated for any of those two positions. I'll have the day you deserve. And may the ancestors judge you harshly. So Matt Gates has dropped out of running for being Attorney General of the United States. <laughs> He's citing a distraction to transition. Bruh, you about to hop a flight. You already removed yourself from all committees. You might want to catch a flight before you catch some cuffs. Can we get Miss McMahon? Because there's no way in hell y'all can make her Secretary of Education. What's she going to educate us? How to body slam somebody in a ring? None of these people that Donald Trump has put in his cabinet have gone through FBI checks. Not one of them. This it's show. A complete shit show. And Matt Gates knows something is about to happen to him. And I think he dropped out before Trump told him to drop out. Which was smart on his move, but still stupid because now you have no position whatsoever. That means no protections, my boy. The House Committee is still going to release that information. And Marjorie Taylor Greene, if you don't start spitting that spit, if you don't start opening your mouth and saying what the hell we all want to hear, you let us know that your people, your Republican colleagues were all rapists and essayers and somebody did something to you too. Why are you holding that information? Let it out regardless if Matt Gates dropped out or not. Or was he the one that did that? I'm just curious. Inquiring minds want to know. So Matt Gates withdrew his nomination as attorney general. 
He said he did this because he doesn't want to be a distraction from the critical work that Trump has to do. Yeah, it's because you're a distraction. Yeah, it has nothing to do with the fact that he allegedly slept with underage girls and apparently there's even more accusations against him. Honestly, the entire GOP is just trying to cover up for Matt Gaetz's crimes. Even Trump tweeting something similar saying that Matt Gaetz doesn't want to be a distraction to the administration. And people are responding to the news by saying, I hope the next attorney general has the same energy as Matt Gates." The fact that a lot of people that Trump is picking have allegations of conduct against them, hmm? including Trump himself, I'm pretty sure Trump is going to have no problem finding someone who matches Matt Gates' energy. Now, this is a shred of good news, but this was his first pick for AG. Who the hell knows who his next choice is going to be? Huge breaking news right now, Matt Gates has just withdrawn from consideration for being Donald Trump's next Attorney General of the United States. Matt Gates posted a new statement on Twitter thanking Donald Trump for the nomination, but withdrawing his name from consideration. Folks, this is significant news, and it comes on the heels of the possible House Ethics Committee releasing a massive report into the number of allegations into Matt Gates. Now, Donald Trump nominated Matt Gates to be the Attorney General just about a week ago, and on that same day, Gates resigned from his position in Congress. Now we know two days after that, the House Ethics Committee was originally supposed to release a damning report into Gates. That never happened. And now Gates is stepping down from being Donald Trump's nominee. Trump will now have to pick a new nominee. If I have to guess, it's going to be Todd Blanche, his personal attorney, who he nominated to be the deputy attorney general. This is huge, huge news. As we get more information, I'll provide it to you. Certified House of Representatives, certified pedophile. Good news, the guy with the face like a Spider-Man villain is out of that role. His reason was he was becoming a distraction from Orange Daddy and VD Vance. Didn't you just quit your job for this one? I have a list of all 36 of his cabinet picks, and to be honest with you, I'm making videos about each one. But, just like Orange Daddy, the big scary thing is not so much the one that's there, but the one that gets picked next. I wonder what could have been such a distraction from them. What was it? You know, I usually am able to remember things like 17 out of 18 times. Alexa, play Teenage Love! But my question is, what does Matthew No Boundaries Gates here do next? What's his next job? What do you do now? Kind of reminds me of the date right stuff guy who was originally in Trump's squadron, but got moved out because he had some problems. Like, how do you get kicked out of that group? How much of a villain do you have to be for that group to be like, distance yourself from us. You're ruining our reputation. Now I'm positive his time is not up, and I'm sure he'll have some fallback option. Maybe he'll start some kind of program for girls who haven't graduated high school yet. Y'all, we are literally in for a ride. Matt Getz just withdrew his bid for attorney general because of the assault misconduct allegations. And I don't know why he's acting like he wouldn't be in good company amongst Donald Trump and them. <laughs> allegedly. Allegedly. Please don't come for me. Allegedly. Dude really jumped in there, like, resigning from Congress, because what don't do now? Can't work in a school or nothing. Like, <laughs> The black Republicans that were campaigning for Donald Trump, man. Wow, they had no black jobs for you. No black jobs. His whole goon squad, I call it a goon squad because uh, Trump is a gangbanger. He's gangbanging right now. So he got a bunch of gangbangers coming on, okay? He got a spot for a brown man, Vivek Ramaswamy. You know, Vivek, this country is not racist. Yeah, got him, he's on there, but that's it. No black jobs. Mm -hmm. Tim Soft Shoe Scott, you was tapping your ass, oh, boy. You had a, you was, yeah. You didn't get a damn thing. All you got was worn out tap shoes. And Byron Coon Donalds, whoo, you got to be the worst. You know, going to the barber shops, talking that sellout shit. Yeah, talking about slavery was a boy. Mm, mm, mm. Didn't have a job for you either. Wesley Hunt, John James, Burgess Owens. Boy, something about that Owens last name. Yeah, all you. Y'all did all that work for no reason. You tapped your and nothing happened. I don't know what to say, but I know probably Trump has something to say, huh? I just want to say that uh, we didn't have any black jobs. I promised black jobs. A lot of people say, oh, you didn't hire them. You didn't hire them. Yes, I did. There's plenty of black jobs. Tim Scott, Byron Donalds, you did such a great job. I love my blacks. They're so wonderful. But we have plenty of jobs. When I said black jobs, I meant black jobs from the past 
So we have floors to be cleaned, windows to be wiped. We have dishes to be washed. It's called the White House. It's not called the Black House. It's called the White House. So we're going to keep it very white because you're going to clean everything, I tell you. You can hate Donald all you want. You can hate him, but he was brilliant. He was very brilliant. He tricked us, just like white folks always tricking black folks to get us to do stuff. He really did a good job on these, and they deserved it. That's right. No goddamn black jobs for you, but you got jobs now because you're going to be slaves. Hmm? You got your wake-up call. Mr. Tim Scott, didn't they used to call you Spit Shine Timmy? No, I swear to God, I swear to God, this guy right here, he would shine your shoes. Best shoe shine boy I've ever seen in my life. He shine your shoes and make your shoes look like mirrors. I swear to God, this guy was amazing. Now go get your shine box. You like, you, you was moving up. Shit. <laughs> you was moving up. His now all this comes immediately after former rep Matt Gaze announced Thursday that he would withdraw his name from consideration to be president-elect Donald Trump's attorney general. Gaze's path was mirrored by a series of allegations of S misconduct, including S with a minor at a 2017 party. On Thursday, NBC News was learned from a source familiar with the discussions that the House Ethics Committee, which had been investigating gays, was told that a 17-year-old girl had two S encounters with then-congressman at the party. Now, the description of the second encounter was included in her testimony to the House Ethics Committee as well as a disposition in a related civil lawsuit. The second S encounter included another adult woman, a source said. Now, CNN was the first to report on the new allegations. Gaze has repeatedly denied allegations of S misconduct. It is clear that my confirmation was unfairly becoming a distraction to the critical work of the Trump of Vance transition, Gaze wrote Thursday on X. There is no time to waste on a needlessly practice Washington scaffold. Thus, I'll be withdrawing my name from consideration to serve as attorney general. Trump's DOJ must be in place and ready on day one, he added. Now, Trump praised gays on Truth Social and said he had been doing very well in the confirmation process. I greatly appreciate the recent efforts of Matt Gaze in seeking approval to be attorney general. He was doing very well, but at the same time, did not want to be a distraction for the, for the administration, for which he has much respect. He said that Matt has a wonderful future, and I look forward to watching all of the great things he will do. Trump wrote. Now, at the Justice Department, there was a general sense of relief after Gaze withdrew his name from consideration, with an official telling NBC News certain events like the sun chasing away the dark of night are not surprising. They are expected. But that doesn't stop me from being grateful for each sunrise. The office added, I now know what is going to be the first feather on my gratitude handprint turkey this Thanksgiving. Now, another Justice Department official called the move such a relief before adding that it's hard to imagine Trump appointing someone worse. But we'll see. Hours after Gay's announcement, the president-elect named former Florida Attorney General Pam Bondi a longtime Trump ally as his new pick for Attorney General. Now, two Trump transition sources with direct knowledge of Gay's decision told NBC News that Gay's notified Trump about his decision Thursday morning. It was Gay's decision to opt to withdraw. One of the sources acknowledged that Gay's confirmation was always going to be an uphill battle and say Trump is expected to meet very soon with a new round of attorney general contenders with no particular person at the top of the list it's unclear what that means for todd blanche whom trump had tapped to be gay's deputy now a third source close to trump told nbc news that the transition team will count gay's withdrawal adding that the house ethics report started to leak out and there was no way for matt to make it gay's whom trump named last week as his pick for attorney general was also investigated by the justice department the department he would have led had he been confirmed Related to allegations of S trafficking and S with a minor, Gaze has vehemently denied those allegations and the investigation ended with the Justice Department electing not to charge him. Now, he resigned from the House last week, effectively ending the Ethics Committee investigation. The committee had been looking into the allegations against him and on and off since 2021. Earlier this week, a lawyer for two women who alleged that gays paid them for S detailed some of the testimony they gave to the ethics committee this year, including one who said he witnessed gays having S with a 17-year-old.
My clients are relieved to have this chapter behind them and eager to move forward with their lives. The lawyer Joel Leopard said Thursday after Gaze's announcement, we are hopeful this brings final closure for all parties involved. Now, committee members met Wednesday to discuss whether to release the report, but did not come to an agreement. It's unclear what the ethics committee would do now that Gaze has withdrawn. Its members are meeting again on December 5th when they will further discuss the matter. At the Ethics Committee's closed-door July 23 meeting, Stafford's Store Chairman Michael Guest are miss that a draft report on his investigation was far enough along that it could be circulated to all committee members, according to meeting transcripts obtained by NBC News. Members and staffers had gathered that day to depose Gaze himself, but he never showed. Now, Gaze told reporters that Gaze's withdrawal should end the discussion for committee members about how they move forward. He's no longer a member of Congress, and so I think that this settles any involvement that the Ethics Committee should have in any matters involving Mr. Gaze. Now, several House Democrats had called for the report to be released publicly. Some Senate Republicans who would have had to vote on Gay's confirmation publicly expressed their interest in viewing the report as part of the confirmation process. Trump and Vice President-elect J.D. Vance maintained their firm support of Gay's with Trump even heavily working the phones to drum up support for Gay's. Now, Vance had been on Capitol Hill on Thursday morning setting up meetings between senators and another controversial pick, Pat Hexeth, for Defense Secretary. But he left the Capitol shortly before Gaze made his announcement. Hexeth also faces misconduct allegations, which he has denied. House Speaker Mike Johnson, who has opposed publicly releasing the ethics report, also left the building before Gaze's news broke. He and the House won't return until after the Thanksgiving recess. Senators from both sides of the aisle have expressed skepticism that he would get enough votes to be confirmed. But what do you, my viewers, think could be the real reason behind Matt Gay's sudden withdrawal from consideration for Attorney General? Is it really because he doesn't want to be a distraction as he claims? Or maybe is there more to the story? Now, we all know that Gay's withdrawal comes amid mounting allegations of S misconduct, which have sparked widespread outrage and calls for, for accountability. Given the gravity of these allegations, it's hard not to wonder if Gay's decision is merely a convenient excuse to avoid further scrutiny. Perhaps he knows that there's more to come and is trying to get ahead of the story, or maybe he's aware of additional allegations or evidence that could be even more damaging to his reputation. Whatever the reason is, I want you to share your views as well in the comment section and let's have a conversation there. Thank you for always watching and see you in my next video as we bring you another interesting video.